This video reviews the Schwinn AC Power Bike 9-7300 assembly instruction. Step 1. Unpackage the machine and attach the handlebar post to the frame. Caution: The handlebar post is pre-wired to the bike chassis and should be installed into the frame upon unpackaging. Step 2. Install the front stabilizer using a 5mm Allen key and a 17mm open-ended wrench to secure two M10 by 50mm bolts and M10 nuts. Be sure to place one M10 washer between the nuts and the stabilizer as well as the bolts in the frame. Step 3. Install the rear stabilizer using a 5mm Allen key and a 17mm open-ended wrench to secure two M10 by 50mm bolts and M10 nuts. Be sure to place one M10 washer between the nuts and the stabilizer as well as the bolts in the frame. Step 4. Insert the trapezoidal fore-aft locking nut to the handlebar assembly, then insert the end cap into the post and secure using a Phillips screwdriver and one M4 by 19mm screw. Slide the handlebar assembly onto the handlebar post. Insert one threaded collar locking nut through the hole in the fore-aft slider and into the trapezoidal fore-aft locking nut, then tighten with a 10mm Allen key. Step 5. Next, slide one M8 washer and M8 nylon washer onto the fore-aft adjustment knob, then tighten the fore-aft adjustment knob into the threaded collar locking nut. Step 6. Insert the seat post into the chassis. Add the trapezoidal fore-aft locking nut, then insert the end cap into the post and secure using a Phillips screwdriver and one M4 by 19 mm screw. Slide the seat assembly onto the seat post. Insert one threaded collar locking nut through the hole in the fore-aft seat slider and into the trapezoidal fore-aft locking nut, then tighten with a 10 mm Allen key. Step 7. Next, slide one M8 washer and one M8 nylon washer onto the fore-aft adjustment knob, then tighten the fore-aft adjustment knob into the threaded collar locking nut. Step 8. Insert the right pedal into the user right side crank arm, ensuring the toe cage is forward. Use an 8mm Allen key to secure the crank bolt from the back side of the pedal, torquing to 33 to 37 foot-pounds or 48 newton meters. Repeat this step for the user left side pedal.
Step 9. Use a number 2 Phillips screwdriver to secure the console mounting bracket to the handlebar assembly using 3 M4 by 10 mm screws. Step 10. Attach the console mount bracket cover using one M5 by 16 mm screw and a 3 mm Allen key. Step 11. Slide the console onto the console bracket. Plug the console data cable into the back of the console. Then use a 2.5 mm Allen key to attach the strain relief bracket to the console bracket using two M3 by 12 mm screws. Secure the console to the bracket using one M3 by 6 mm screw. Step 12. The console will need to be paired with the 4i crank and then calibrated before use. Additional reference materials on these procedures and more available at http://support.corehnf.com.